used in the MCU. Now, we're specifically talking about the fact that do I think that Marvel is going to use Magneto, Charles, and the characters we've seen already are already going to try to do a homecoming. Now, of course, homecoming, you guys know, uh, Marvel and Sony sat down, they were like, look, um, we can't go over what we've done before. Uncle Ben's been shot twice in a decade. Can't put that in there. What else we got? Norman Osborn? Throw out Norman Osborn. Gwen MJ? Throw out Gwen MJ. MJ. The, the MJ, okay? I know we got a different MJ, but it's a completely different character. So, think about it. Um, do they want to do that again with the X-Men? And I think the answer is yes. Because this might piss some people off, but being real with you, the Fox X-Men are not the X-Men. They missed a point on just about every iteration of those characters other than First Class and The Gifted. So, they're not talking about all the social commentary and what it means to be an X-Men, what they're in, you know, what they represent, why they exist, why they wear all those bright colors. The movie seemed to ignore that. And that's a big point of contention for the X-Men. And when you start thinking about the characters that have been in all the movies, every movie is about Wolverine, Charles and Magneto. So once again, what are you going to do? Um, you have to in some way, shape, or form use these characters, but they can't resemble the characters we've seen, which kind of puts you at a weird problem area because it's like, well, you need the X-Men, you need Charles, and you need Magneto, and eventually you need Wolverine, but you've just had them for two decades. So that's a problem. Um, and when you really start thinking about it that way, they're going to have to take certain liberties. And I know people might be mad with that, but expect changes that are pretty significant, just like Homecoming, to happen. Because you can't give the people the same thing, and you can't just drop something that looks significantly so different that you can't even identify it. That's why Homecoming, you can tell that's Peter, but they're handling his stuff differently because it's a different iteration. It's kind of like the Ultimates was to who the 616 version was. So when you really start looking at it that way, realistically, you have to expect changes. And don't forget, I made a video months ago where the Russo brothers were in an interview and a lot of people looked over it, but they said, when this is all said and done, we can start playing with it. We're really excited about the unexpected nature and casting for what's to come. They've already said it in interviews. There's going to be a lot of headlines because there's going to be a lot of out of left field castings. And I think they want to get people ready for it because you can't be the same. You just can't. So you've got to be different. And different is going to alienate a lot of people that have grown up like myself, but they can't let go of the past.